Hello everyone and welcome back, and I'm sorry about the delay, um, personal stuff got in the way. But we're back for now, and if this episode is late today, I also apologize, but it's kind of out of my control. Google and YouTube, mostly just YouTube, have been uh, finicky at best, involving all of their stuff. So right now, what I'm going to do is come back over here. I'm going to throw some of this in there. And I don't remember what I was doing. It's been a long time, um, and it's been a strange few weeks for me. So, we're going to get things started off by doing some automated mining. Or working towards it. Um, first up is that I am making a liquid transposer. So... Not liquid transposer, a redstone energy cell. Um, and mostly this is just for a convenient power transfer, although I'm fairly certain I might have been making an energy tesseract. Or I could have been making a power converter. Don't know! Not certain at all. What I do know is that I am going to work on an energy cell. which is going to involve hardened glass. That one's kind of easy. And Electrum. Which involves an induction smelter, or, actually, just mixed silver. Or making a blend of silver and gold. All right, macerator and macerator. You work. Silver, gold. And I will say that this series, while it's not like going anywhere soon, might be replaced. I've been working on making a 1.6 instance. Um, overall, it's gone on, pr it's come out pretty well. Um, oh, I don't have one set up. Um, it's coming along pretty well, uh, working out a few kinks, um, learning a few little things about the mods that I'm working with. But other than that, that's in the pipeline. Um, I'm not giving up, uh, oh, what was it? Surviving the world anytime soon. Um, that one's kind of more interesting. Um, but also, overall, this new one that's coming up will feature Thomcraft 4 and the new industrial craft stuff. So, while we wait for all of this, what I do actually need is a... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I uh, actually need an induction smelter. Which involves Invar uh, and a few other things. So let's go ahead and come out here and start working on that. Copper to uh, redstone to gold one. Iron 3, and machine frames. Okay. So it's about to be nighttime. Let's quick sleep through the night. Actually, I suppose it's technically nighttime already, but... And, actually, one of the most important things that I haven't touched on yet is... New mods! Or, in this case, I believe new mod. Which is not enabled at the moment, so I will be back in a second after I've enabled it. Okay, we're back. And... Better than ever. I, I actually just really just wanted to say that. But now, what we have right now... I'm actually gonna take a pause from what I was working on... Was... Mod called QCraft. QuantumCraft. 
So, what is this mod, and what does it do? Well, it's a strange and a bit complicated of a mod. Um, it adds quantum mechanics. So, superposition, um, a few other things. Uh, basically, observational... Oops. Observational state changes. So, things that go from being in one place or in one state as soon as they're observed. Uh, Schrodinger's cat, sort of. So, what does this mod do? It adds one piece of world gen, and that is quantum ore. And that's what I'm going to... Hi. I have you set on peaceful mode. And, that is, at the moment, what I am looking for. Now, there is going to be a huge change of pace in this episode. I was going to be working on that, but I'm going to mess around with this new mod. Now, part of this is going to involve me going and finding a new uh, new chunk, basically. Uh, I'm going to have to go, grab a new chunk, and go there for the ore. And my normal, or my original, rather, um, idea of working on the automated mining system and the automation behind taking that ore and processing it is going to be pushed back an episode. Excuse me. Um, maybe two. But I want to really just kind of mess around with this stuff. This is going to be a short episode. Ease myself back into the... Wow, 21 diamonds. E <laughs> Sorry. Ease myself back into this um, and basically just get a new or feel for doing this again. I did put out a full episode of Surviving the World yesterday, but that's easy for, for me to do. There's next to no jump cuts. Um, there's next to no, you know, hey, I'm just going to have to stop mid-process and go, you know, fix something or go to a different place. That's just, that's 100% real time. I mean, I pause every now and then to break and find information that I would need, like, you know, how long I've been recording, a few other things like that, but there's really, there's no breaks. It's just boom, 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 boom for 30 minutes, sometimes less, sometimes more. And that's not something that's easy to do with this format. Um, it really isn't. I don't do just straight 30 minutes. Um, Honestly, at this point, if I did, this is what, episode 6, uh, I'd still be building the house, more or less. Um, there's a lot to basically everything I do in this series. Um, it's a lot of trial and error testing. Um, ooh, I'm generating new chunks. Uh, and I mean, from there, it's just, you know, does everything work the way I want it to? And if it doesn't, well, how do I get it to work like that? Alright, let's see. Let's head down, because as far as I can tell, this is what I need. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not, actually. This is not helpful, but, like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode, um, but gonna mess around with some interest oh that's uranium and I'm also you know actually looking for ores there's a lot of stuff that I still need uh, dart craft ore and I mean one point I yeah wow that's not how the train of thought was intending to go um, I am enjoying this series and I think the quantum craft is going to be a really interesting addition to it. Um. So, let's keep on heading down. Wow, I'm already fairly low. Okay. Hopefully this isn't like, you know, a high level ore or something. And if it is, well, we'll find out soon enough. Alright, let's actually... 
There's a lava pocket there. Let's head back this way. So, I'm actually going to keep looking for this ore, and I'll be back when I have it. Okay, and I'm back, and I've got some quantum dust. So, let's see what we can use this for. And hopefully not break the game in the process. Okay, essence of super, superposition and essence of observation. Essence of observation is what I want. So, with this, we now have four essence of observation. So, north, south, east, west, top, and bottom. Okay. So, what we can do with that is fairly interesting. I've got 63... Okay. What we can do with this is something interesting. Uh, you can use any, as far as I can tell, any non-tile entity block that you have. Um, let's go ahead and convert more of you into that. And does this version have... Yes, this do version does. And is this one six... Yeah, that is. Okay. So, what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to mess around. Um, let's do that, 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 and that. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's grab the observer dependent block. And I'm going to pitch some of that cobblestone. Let's quick head back here. Okay, so let's go ahead and come out here. And this is just, this is one of the coolest blocks ever. So, we're looking at it this way. Lapis. Still looking at it, still in the field of vision. Now it's nothing. Completely. And totally, oh, there we go. Now it's redstone. And because we're interacting with it, we're considered to be observing it. Aside, it's diamond. Lapis. And we're looking at it from the top. So, there's an interesting other property with this. In that, and while it's being observed as a redstone block... It emits a redstone signal. So... What can we do with this? Well, we can do all sorts of things, and I'm going to break this to demonstrate that, uh... Ooh, this is taking a long time. It does not give you back the block as it was. So, now, how do we use this? Well, there's a lot of ways. We can make the observer-dependent locking mechanism, or unlocking mechanism as the case may be, um, the observer dependent, basically anything. Um, I can make it so that a my system, my AE system, shuts down entirely when someone's looking at it. But I mean, that's one one possible outcome. Um, there's a few other things. Essence of entanglement. Let's look at this. I need one essence of superposition. It's an essence of superposition. And this gives me an essence of entanglement. What this allows me to do is entangle two uh, observation bogs. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to do north, south, east, and west. This and this. And no, this one. Now, I don't remember exactly how it works, but I mean, the 
premise is, is that this mod now lets me do a whole bunch of cool observer-dependent things and a few other things. Um, overall, this is going to add a whole new level of depth, and I mean, with that, I'm going to have to process all of this. Um, I am going to call this episode here. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to figure out. I need to go mine some more of this stuff, mine some more stuff in general, and actually regain my composure, figure out where I'm going next. So, I did at least want to give you this update video, you know, say, hey, I'm still here, still doing this, um, there's going to be more in the near future, but see you guys next time.